engaged. <laughs> ah, yeah! <laughs> All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. All right. So Danny had to go out to Missouri for some training once he got active duty military. And I went out to visit him at Fort Leonard Wood in April of 2013. And he took me to Lake of the Ozarks at a bed and breakfast. And we were just sitting on the porch right at twilight, just talking. And I knew something was up and I knew it was coming, but I tried to act surprised. And he came down with a cute little photo album he had made of pretty much all our biggest moments together with kind of a narration throughout on paper. In the last page, it said, will you marry me? And he pulled out my dream ring. And I was like, ah, yeah. I would have to say when he first went away, it was definitely very, very hard because before he left, we would spend every moment together, um, pretty much every day I would see him, and then all of a sudden he wasn't there anymore, and we both kind of went through a period where we didn't know if we could do long distance, and we're actually on the verge of breaking up, but we decided, you know, to stick with it and try and get through it, and I think it's actually made our relationship stronger, and I think we've grown a lot from it and matured from it. It's kind of bittersweet though with him deploying right after the wedding because the closer the wedding gets the more excited I am for the wedding but at the same time I'm also realizing the closer it is to his deployment. So it's kind of it's kind of a unique situation. I'm excited for us to finally be able to be together because once he comes back from his deployment we will have been long distance for about a year and a half and it's been a while since we were in the same town and we're finally going to get to move in and make a home together and really get into the swing of married life. But it's almost like our second year of marriage is really going to be our first year of marriage. So I'm just excited to start an actual marriage with him.